Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. So today I have been goofing around all day. Yeah, I know it's a Sunday, but uh, I've been learning yet another new CMMS system. And why is it that I'm always disappointed? I am always disappointed. It, it makes me think who comes up with this stuff? It really does. I'm super user access and I can do almost nothing. It's, it's, oh, anyway. Let's go over it, guys, because I, I'm really upset about CMMS programs. So, guys, I don't want to tell you the one that I'm currently having to learn. Uh, I haven't had time to talk to developers yet. But, nonetheless, I really have to stop and be like, hey, what were they thinking? I mean, if I don't have the ability to do something as a super user in a dropdown, let's say a model... Or let's say I'm looking for a type of PM procedure or a template. If it's not in the drop-down box, give me the option to add it. Give me the option. Don't make me navigate to some other page. What are you guys doing? Oh, God, jeez, guys. So I've had many companies now, probably three, four, maybe more, reach out to me and they ask me if I would be interested in demoing their CMMS program. And I have always said yes, always, because there's certain things that every company does right. Even that one CMMS that begins with an N that you guys know I hate, all right? They all do something right, even, even if it's this much, they do something right. So when people ask me if I would like to demo their software, I always give them the same answer. I always tell them yes. But there's always a caveat. I say, do you have a demo account where I can get in and play around with the system? Guys, most of these CMMS programs are now web-based. And if they're web-based, that means that you should be able to set up an independent server, which is not touching another one. And you should be able to have a demo instance installed, whereas you have, let's say, 100 assets. And of those 100 assets, I want to be able to play around, create an asset, delete an asset, manage my inventory. I want to set PM schedules. I want to change PM schedules for an entire model. I want to be able to go through and edit teammates. I mean, guys, I want to create work orders. I want to manage PM schedules. I want to order parts. I want to be able to order parts or at least keep track of some sort of parts that I have on inventory. And I want to be able to close work orders or assign them. Now, why is it that all these companies out there have it thought that maybe we should create a demo instance where people can try it out with no training. I don't want training. I don't want to sit through three days to learn how to use a tool. What tool out there in our inventory do we have to sit through three days to learn how to use? And it is a tool. Your CMMS or your work order management system is a tool and it's supposed to help you accomplish your job faster and better. The faster part, a lot of places just don't get that and better I could honestly say that sometimes a spreadsheet would be better and than some of these it's true but guys why is it that nobody is creating these demo instances well I'll give you my theory on it it's the one that I hate that you guys know of well they appeal to bean counters they do they appeal to bean counters, and they don't care about how many clickety-clacks it takes you to close a work order. Although, in the end, management does care about that because they're like, hey, why have you only closed 8 or 10 work orders today? Well, because it took me 20 minutes to close each one. I mean, ah, guys, I am just so frustrated with CMMS programs. It seems like they're always made or invented by a suit. And the thing is, is if you can't do something better than everybody else in the industry, don't do it. All right. Just because we have another option doesn't mean that you're special. Doesn't mean that your product is better than anybody else's. So why does it exist? I just don't get it. If you're going to do something, try and do every single step of the way better than the competition. And if so, have somebody that's not a suit. God forbid that happens, right? Somebody that's not a suit, like any of these knowledgeable technicians, bring about four or five of them in, give them a demo setup, and tell them what would make this better. And get some real input by people that are really going to use this, 
there's some real knowledgeable people out there, a suit just doesn't cut it. Bean counters don't, they just don't cut it. If it's too difficult to use, if it's not intuitive, if it has too many steps in order to close something, if you don't give me the option to modify something that is clearly out of spec or, you know, is not an available option in a drop down, then what's going on? I, I'm just so frustrated at CMMS programs and the amount of garbage that's out there in the industry. Even these big, big companies have garbage products. So guys, I'm just, I'm a little frustrated right now because I've, I'm yet to learn another CMMS program. I've used some that were pretty good in the, in the days past, but this would be my fifth one that I've had to learn something like that. Six, maybe. And it's just funny because it's 2022 and here we are messing with the same stupid things. And it's just, there's no mo forward momentum in the industry to improve this process. Your CMMS program is a tool. It's supposed to help you do your job, not make you sit there for three hours and fumble around trying to figure out how to do a process that's supposed to be intuitive. I just don't get it. Why do these products exist? Anyway, guys, that's my rant. CMMS systems. Guys, if you're going to create a CMMS system, get input from real people that have to use it. That's all I got to say. Thanks for watching, guys.